So things are loading. Yay, loading times. Isn't that the most, the best part of gaming? Oh yeah, just love it. All right, hello again, nephews, nieces, and anyone else listening. I am playing some Anthem right now. Uh, Anthem is a game by Bioware. Uh, the title is an allusion to the Anthem of Creation, a mysterious and powerful force and uh, power and something in <laughs> here in the... Uh, here in the story of the game and that's maybe one of the most interesting parts of the game i'm honestly not a uh, uh i've kind of been losing interest okay who is this guy i don't know this guy let's listen to him okay so freelancers oh he's gonna say problems we help people true this has also been called the Iron Man game because freelancers, which you play as in this game, are you know people who wear these cool power power armor suits. So this follows kind of the a sort of typical Bioware pattern of you kind of have this hub city here. Um, I think this is called Fort Tarsus, uh, and that's where you're based out of. And then you go and you do you do various missions, um, and you know while you're here you can talk to people and uh, learn about their lives and the story of the world. Um, and uh, talking about it here, I don't know why it is failing to light my fire so much. Um, huge fan of Bioware's Mass Effect series. Uh, it's it's true. Mass Effect Three didn't quite live up to the to the to the hype, both as uh, you know the the next you know modern installment of the game, and in particular as the the final concluding story. And then I haven't played it yet, but I have just heard Mass Effect Andromeda was, you know, really botched. So that's uh, that's of course very unfortunate. Uh, but uh, but anyway, yeah. So I appreciate the. So yeah, and so so this is one of the things about this game. It's very you know you have these specific expeditions you go on, and so it. It gets very, this is a game. You are doing the mission. And there, there's a little less, uh, there's a little less story flow between, uh, what, there's a little less uh, coming to, effective coming together of story and gameplay. Uh, which is, uh, you know, I, I, I really tend to play games for a story. I like a game to have a good good story characters all of that and and ideally that that flows in well with the gameplay and is fun there but i don't i don't know if anthem is doing it effectively i can't remember a lot of the specifics i know there was also a lot of drama over this game like it was it was really well hyped and then it kind of landed with a dull thud and no one liked it and uh it, it, it was i think there was something going on of it was another it was another point of evidence that EA was just a terrible company, and uh, and you know part of it is that it's Bioware. Bioware is a comp is a developer that is is well known for having very good story driven, character driven games that are very strong. Again, I'm a huge fan of the Mass Effect series. I think they I think they did a really good job there, and. And then I, you know, I think they were trying to start a new IP here with, uh, with Anthem, and then it didn't work out. Uh, Anthem is a MMO RPG, so it's uh, online. Although 
I don't care about that at all. I, I honest, and I, I honestly think that's one of the reasons why it starts feeling a little, uh, uh, feeling a little non-story driven, and just this is a game. You are playing a game. You know, don't get immersed in the world because it's just a game. Um, do do a bunch of you know, loot flogging and you know, inventory management. Uh, cause you know, you're, you're playing a game and just o organizing what to do with the game. And that's, that's the important part. Don't, the story is, you know, all secondary just to, just to make all of that a little more interesting. Oh, and loading screens are a bear too. I mean, look at that. Just went through two loading screens and I'm still sitting here. Got a, got a vamp for time a lot here. And, and you know, I just built this computer. It's not a, my my hardware is not exactly a slouch here ah <sighs> but here we go all right so i gotta go save someone so i got a really tall jump that is cool i do like the movement in this game so starting the engines that's cool uh you see the little bar under under where my where my dude is that's an indicator of how hot your jets are so you got to kind of do a dive to cool down your jets or if you go through like a waterfall or something like that. Oh, what's that creature? Let me see. Yeah. Oh, ooh, man. Tough guy. Yeah. All right. Got that guy. There we go. All right, let's move on. Okay, so I guess these are the Arcanists. I think they're just explorers with, I guess, an explorer without the luxury of a giant powered armor jet suit. Uh, I mean, these are pretty rare, the powered armor jet suits. I think they're, they're some artifact of a days gone by and you can get different styles and they're pretty cool like there's the big guy I think this is kind of the wizardy cool guy so I, I you know I, I don't necessarily just want to say this is terrible I mean I'm sure I, I mean I'm sure a lot of work went into it and you know it shows uh, you know arts arts pretty good we you know I kind of downloaded this as my what's one of the more recent games I've actually heard about that can put my computer through its paces and as you saw with the loading screen it did so yay <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah but you know I mean does look good here and and all that is great so so yeah but I mean that kind of that kind of gets to one of these things too how much do graphics, how, how important are graphics to a game? I mean, uh, you know, when I was growing up, you know, the, the difference in graphics could mean the difference between I can identify that that collection of pixels on the screen as a person and, and that, you know, is just a blob that I'm supposed to interpret as a person somehow. And, and so that, you know, does make a difference. Uh, but I think we've re we really have hit a, a era of diminishing returns when it comes to graphics fidelity and things like that. It's uh, you you can get a pretty good. I, I mean, you can't necessarily go all the way photorealistic, especially with people. That's hard to do. Uh, doesn't necessarily doesn't necessarily look as good as it could. Uh, but it's it's a but you know there there there's movies that are good more because of the visuals than because of the story or anything like that and you know i don't want to say those movies don't have value because their focus is on is on cool visuals so man that guy's got a flamethrower i I don't think it friendly fires me. Ha, ah, fire. Ha, ah, ha, ha. <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah, it, it kind of makes me nervous. 
I think one of the last bosses I fought in this game also had a flamethrower, so, you know, that that got me, uh, so, so maybe that just gets me worried about, uh, I don't want to be lit on fire again. That was, that was an unpleasant experience, so. All right. So this is really fun, the flying. It's it's simple, it's straightforward, but it, you know, that, that engine overheating offers just enough. Going to do some harvesting. Basic just plant harvesting. It's a very MMO thing to do. Uh-oh, where are the people? Where are the people? Anything over here? Is this where I went before? I think I went there before too. So, yeah, yeah. I got. I gotta say though, the the flying does it. Uh, the game does look good. I, you know, and I wonder if I gave it a chance, if I would be impressed by the story. Because again, it is Bioware. They, you know, they've they've proven their metal. They've shown that they they can do a good story. They could do a good story, so you know. I go if I gave them a chance, but but it does feel very. Uh, it just feels like there's a lot of exposition. It feels like it's not necessarily, you know, central to the game, having the story, and so you know if I if the writers aren't 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 promoting me being com if the writers don't seem compelled by the story. The, if the creators don't seem compelled by the story, why should I? And, you know, it's just a game. So. Harvest some minerals. Yeah, give me that mineral. So. Yeah, the flying, though. Yeah. I, and, you know, I think this really was kind of the big selling point of this game. Was you can fly like Iron Man. It's really cool. And, yeah, you know, that is not nothing. That's a cool experience for a video game to provide. Ooh, my ultimate ability is ready. I don't know what that does, really. It just seems to fire a bunch of missiles. I think it does lock on, so... Maybe if there's a whole bunch of dudes that that need to be eliminated, I'll show off that ultimate ability of mine. So, yeah, this is Anthem. Uh, I, I don't know what more to say about it. Again, I, I know there was some drama. There was some sort of corporate and uh, creative drama around it, which uh, does, it, I, I remember it being fairly interesting when I heard about it. Oh, it's a big guy. Not, not big enough. Not big enough for me. Can't stop Devin, the freelancer. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Music's not bad there either. Kind of like you know, I'm a, I'm a fan. All right. Oh, someone else got him first. Yes, it is. What? That big scar. Oh, good. I can't hold on to it. Or did that? Or did I just lose the charge up without? Man. And I think I just lost all the charged upness of my big super ability and didn't even get to use it. How extremely disappointing. Did you guys lock yourself in? Did you get, like, captured by the monsters? I didn't know the monsters were that intelligent. 
Yeah, okay, this guy's really proud of his flamethrower. Like, either that or he hates arcanists. I don't know what the what the deal is with that. I mean, come on, we're trying to protect them. Be noble, be a noble hero. Oh, oh. There we go. Um, so yeah, the movement in this game does work. I'm just repeating myself. I don't know if I have anything interesting to say. It, Yeah, I think I've said all I'm going to say. So uh, yeah, I uh, hope you're having a good day. Look forward to hearing next about how you guys are doing. And I will talk to you later. Do, do, do.